I'm going to begin this lesson with a blank document. I'm going to come over here and pick up my rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw like a rectangle, something like that. And I'm going to go over and pick up my pen tool. I'm going to draw, oh, I'm going to click right about here. Come up and click straight. Come down here and click straight again. Something like that. Now I can, if I want to balance that out a little bit, pick up my direct selection tool and say go to this corner right there and maybe make that down using the arrow keys just to make it a little bit prettier. That is not really necessary for the demonstration. Okay, I've got two shapes. One's open and one is closed. Now I've chosen the two colors because I want to concentrate on the stroke itself. I want you to really be able to see that stroke. Now if we come over here and pick up our direct selection tool, and then select one of the objects. Notice those symbols. They're called a corner widget that appear at each one of the anchor points. That's a new feature. I love this thing. It gives me something called live corners. Now what live corners means is I get to do it visually. Now we have things like rounded rectangles, but they're about numbers. A radius of 15 or 20, and you do that and you go, well, that's not exactly what I wanted. This allows us to change things on a visual basis, live corners. So if I come up to one of these, now don't forget, I do have right now all four of the anchor points selected. So I pick up any one of these corner widgets and drag in and do that. Now I can do the same thing over here on this one. These are open, so I can't I can do the same thing here. Now I'll be honest with you, if that's all it did, that would be kind of fun, but it does more than that. Let's come back over here, click in the middle, and let's go ahead and pull these back out. Just like that. We'll do the same thing over here. We could press undo. But if you don't like what you see 10 days later, you can come back and change it. I'm going to come over here and click on the upper left-hand corner anchor with my direct selection tool and hold the shift key down and click on the lower right. So in other words, you don't have to do all four. You can do one, two, three, doesn't matter. But if I come in here again and do this, we have again a completely different type of shape. Now I'm going to say this again. If that's all it did, that would be pretty neat. But that is not anywhere near all that this does. If I come back over to this one and I start pulling it down again, just like that. So I've got a rounded top to this. Double click on that widget or click the corners button up here and watch what happens. It opens up the corners dialog box, and as you can see, we have more than one kind of corner here. We have a rounded corner right here. We have an inverted rounded corner, and we have a chamfer. Now, with that one selected, we can change it right here. We can also change it by radius if you want to do it down here. We have two rounding options. This one is not quite as severe as this one, it's more gentle, if you will. And if you like it, you click OK. But we're still not done. I would like to control the process of changing the corner as I'm drawing it. So if I come back over here again and grab onto this guy, notice it does select the area that it's influenced. And I'm dragging down like this. And I decide, well, you know, maybe I want uh, a rounded corner or a chamfer. I stop dragging. I hold down the Alt key. That's the Alt key in Windows, Option key on a Mac, and click and I can cycle through the three. Now it does have a limitation. If I come over here again, let's go ahead and put it up like this, and I begin dragging down again, no Alt key, not just dragging. Eventually you get to the point where it is at its limit and it will go red. Take it back up, actually put it back to the way it was. Now if you don't want to see the little widget, you can go up to the word view on the pull down menu and go down to hide corner widget. But any way you slice this, this is a really nice feature because it gets us more organically involved in what we're designing in a live view. We can see it as we work with it. And I love that. 